welcome back it's saturday it's the 4th of february 2023 and it's about half past eight um getting myself ready for work um yesterday i had a busy day just with admin and um we had a delivery of the stock that we ordered from um the trade fair um, which I'm looking forward to showing you. Um, yeah, really pleased with that. So I've got one more company still to deliver, but they did say originally that it would be mid to late February before they delivered. So um, be a couple of weeks yet, I think. Um, yeah, been a little out of sorts this morning. I don't know why. Just. Uh, my brain was a bit manic yesterday morning because I had so many tabs open. It was only things like I'd got various emails from customers offering me stuff. I'd got a few people who'd messaged me regarding ordering things on my website, which I always appreciate, but I didn't want to forget. <laughs> That's the problem, is if I look at an email, then I've got to remember that I've seen that email and action it, if you see what I mean. Um, and I had a few other things I had to sort out, bank things and yeah, all sorts. So I was a bit manic yesterday morning and then last night I could feel that tiredness and I thought, oh, I hope I'm not going to get a migraine. Um, and I'd had a new prescription and I hadn't picked up my migraine tablets yet. So I looked at my phone and it was 23 minutes past five. I googled, when does boots? Um, shut and it was half five so I ran down to Boots luckily got my prescription but I didn't need it because I don't have a migraine but I do feel a little bit not quite there but it's not a migraine so that's good so we'll see how busy it is in the shop today yesterday the morning was okay but then the afternoon I mean we were busy unpacking that order so I didn't notice it too much but yeah, it was really quiet in the afternoon. So we'll see, last Saturday was decent, so fingers crossed. Hello again, it's about 20 past nine and I've come down to the shop, I'm gonna have 10 minutes before I open up to write my list, drink my coffee, gather my thoughts. Um, I had a lot of weird dreams last night. I kept waking up and then going back to sleep and having mad dreams. Like I was traveling. I've never gone traveling. I don't know what that was about. Um, so I was in this one place and they said, you've got to be up at seven in the morning to do this work. And then you, we're going out in the evening put on a dress and make sure you shave your legs <laughs> and I was getting upset because they were telling me that I had to shave my legs <laughs> but another dream was a bit more upsetting and my brother had rang me up to tell me that my dad was really ill and he was dying and he was poorly and uh my dad died about I don't know how many years ago it is now is it five or six years ago so I yeah, just all sorts of weird and wonderful dreams. I'm going to shut the door. And then I'm going to show you some of the new stock that came in. Um, it's dotted around the shop, so I'll have to take you on a little shop tour and show you some of the new stuff. Here we go. So over by the window, I've got these two wooden shelves. Can you see how they're made out of... Like that. So one's slightly bigger than the other. They're lovely. I've actually got two of the bigger one. I'll show you the other one further down the shop. And then I've got these gorgeous wooden painted, uh, well, there's fish and seahorses and whales and all sorts. Look, little birds. 
And these are all fair trade from Indonesia. So a couple kit that we met at the trade fair, they go to Bali and other parts of Indonesia, to different villages and they source stock and it's all fair trade. Look at this gorgeous owl. So I'm really pleased with that stock. There's also baskets, so I'll show you some of those. Here we go, some nice big chunky baskets. You could use them for logs or for laundry or whatever you want or storage. And these are all fair trade. I've actually got a little video that the lady sent me of some of the baskets being made. So I'm gonna try and add that so you can see. Some more over here. They're in little sets of three, although I've priced them individually. So people can choose which size is more useful. And you might have spotted this as I zoomed past. It's a table made out of a tree root. Uh, it's absolutely solid. It's only a small thing, but it's beautiful. Look at, the, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> I've got a couple of big wooden plaques as well. So there's that one. And over here, this one's slightly different. It's got gold on it, can you see? And down here, you can see there's a few more, a little set of baskets there on one of these beautiful wooden shelves with some more of the wooden animals on. How gorgeous is that? And then dotted around the shop, I've also got some Buddhas and goddesses. So these are made out of like a concrete. They're very heavy. Look at this one, a sitting goddess. She's gorgeous. And then down here, I've got a wooden one. And then a standing one. Around here, I've got a kneeling one with a bowl and then a small one sitting on this shelf down here. Do you like this one a lot? I think that's everything. Um, I'm really pleased with how they look. I'm really pleased that I've managed to source more fair trade stock and um, I'm hoping it will draw in more customers. And when customers come in that they'll see things that they definitely want to buy. So, what do you think? Do you like? Do you like my choices? Do you think I've made good decisions with the jewellery and the soap and then stuff from Indonesia? As I say, I've got one more order to come, which will be about mid-February. I had a bit of other stock come in, so I've got this glass. Oh, it's a small cheese dish or a large butter dish. Each side. I've got these. It says designed by Dartington. So those glasses. And then some Caithness glass, all pink. Somebody was very clear. Very uh, into their pink Caithness glass gone for white patchouli and clove in the um, wax melt for the shop today. Remember there's lots of different beautiful fragrances of those on my website if you wanted to order and links in the description box. As is there's plenty of jewellery on there, metal signs, all sorts, all sorts. Oh, 
fairly quiet in the shop. I've had a few sales. Um, just sold a, a vintage typewriter, so I've got a gap there. Um, and the Buddhas that I showed you this morning. So I put them on my Facebook, Instagram, etc. And one of my very loyal customers who watches my, <laughs> follows my Facebook page messaged me and said, can I have two? So I've sold two already. The tall standing one and the sitting one. It's two o'clock and I've had a steady flow of customers. The only thing I didn't show you from that um, new fair trade hall that I got in from the scrub was this. It's like a vase, so the glass is moulded into the shape of the wood. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been okay, it's been steady, and with that sale from my friend customer, you know. It's made it a good day. So tomorrow is uh, a day out going to a vintage fair that we go to quite often, I really like. And um, and then Monday a day off. So hope you have a really great weekend. Hope you've enjoyed. My husband's sent me some random videos of Jenny because I totally forgot this morning and I don't want to get on the wrong side of people. So <laughs> make sure you give her a thumbs up. Leave me a random emoji. Let me know what you think of the new stock. Subscribe if you haven't already. Anything else? Let me know in the comments what else I should be saying at the end. <laughs> Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.